Okay, thank you. Um, so hi everyone, this is talking KO Fuse, and um, it's basically I'm going to describe what it is, why it should exist, and what we're planning in the future. Um, my name's Alex, I'm one of the developers of KO Fuse. Um, I've been developing with it for about maybe just a bit more than two years now. Okay, next slide. Okay, so to motivate the reason why it should exist, I'm just going to give you an example. So first, just imagine a user that wants to you know, view documents, photos, or videos um, you know, on a network share. Um, they, they need a password to enter it, um, but it's not on the local file system. And we'll use Dolphin um, just to look at the files there, and we'll use it to kind of open any files that we want. So we're going to consider sp three specific scenarios. The first one is we want to open a photo using Gwenview. Um, the second one is opening a video using VLC. And the third one is opening a docu document using uh, a LibreOffice writer. So first, let's discuss what KEO is in the first place. So KEO is just a, a, a framework um, that allows you to access files and data uh, that might not be on the local file system. Um, so for example, you can access uh, resources over NTP, SMB, SFTP, etc. And for the developer, um, it's also quite useful because um, it fits nicely into the signal slot mechanism. And so you know you can send requests to network resources um, for that, that don't block. Um, it does this by just launching a process to do the hard work and then it gets back to you once it's, once it's done. Um, and you can see a code snippet here of how easy it is to use. So if you think of using it, please do, it's quite useful. So let's consider the first scenario. So you've got your stuff open in Dolphin and you want to open an image. And so you're going to use it using a Gwenview. So Gwenview is a KDE program um, and it supports KIE. So what would happen? So using Dolphin, you might select that image and open it, either with the context menu or it might already be your default program. At this point, Dolphin will call some code in KEO, which is going to decide what URL is going to pass. Um, so, you know, it's a, it'll be an SMB URL. And KEO will read the desktop file of Gwenview. And they'll say, OK, actually, it, Gwenview claims that it understands KEO URLs. So, OK, we'll just pass it the URL. Fair enough. Good. So everything's working as intended perfectly. And so now, now Gwenview is going to open it. It won't block. It won't freeze. It will open it nice, and you'll see your image. Okay, let's consider the next scenario. So now you want to view a video with VLC. I mean, why would you not use VLC? It's an amazing program, small tools called Codex, etc. So no surprise that you use it. But it doesn't support KEO. Um, but it does support the SMB protocol independently. So similarly, you use Dolphin. You select the video to open. Um, KO again reads the desktop files um, and it sees that uh, VLC doesn't claim to support KO, but it does claim to support that protocol, the SMB protocol. So, okay, fine, we'll just pass you the URL. If you, if you claim to know it, you know it. But remember, the share is password protected. And so maybe when we opened uh, the resource in Dolphin, we already entered our password um, so that KO can remember it. And so it's either stored in K Wallet or, or K Password Server or both, basically. Um, but VLC has no access to it. So when you open the video, you're going to be asked to put in the password again. That might be really cumbersome. You, you don't want to do it every time, uh, or at least the first time it happens. It's not really that nice. So not perfect here. So cumbersome, basically. We want to avoid this. Now, the next is you want to view a document in LibreOffice Writer. And um, again, the, the most popular document viewer for Linux. Um, but it doesn't support n neither KIO or the SMB protocol. So again, you go to open it, KIO has some code, it's looking at your the desktop files and understands it has no clue how to open an SMB URL. Well, at this point, it's not really a good idea to send uh, it the SMB URL, it will fail spectacularly. So now KIO has kind of like a stopgap stop solution called KIO exec. So it will be used to download the file on the local file system. So it's going to download that whole document on the local file system. Once that's completed, KO will pass the URL to that new local file to LibreOffice Writer. And so, well, obviously LibreOffice Writer knows how to open a file on the local file system. So we're good to go from that point of view. 
but this isn't perfect because well, if I save a file on a fast system, how does it get to the actual network share? Well, KOG is actually actually monitor the changes to the file and then has to upload them. Okay, so I mean, is that all the solution? Well, for a start, you have to wait for the whole download to finish, which, okay, for a document might be okay, but for a video, is that really satisfactory? Are you going to wait for a whole movie that's gigabytes in size to download before you even view it? Maybe you only watch the Maybe you only want to watch the credits, for example. Um, so not good for large files. Um, KOXIC has some still long-standing bugs. So every time you save the file, you're then asked again if you want to re-upload it, which is a bit, a bit confusing for a user. And there are more subtle bugs, which you can see on this uh, bug ID. Um, so it's not a perfect solution by any means. So. If we switch from KWallet to Secret Service API, and assuming all the other applications use a Secret Service API, then maybe the password problem wouldn't be too bad, but we're not there yet. Although there is progress to get there. Um, but again, sometimes maybe you only want to um, use the password for a session. You don't save it permanently in Secret Service or KWallet. So that's what K Password Server does quite well. So again, you still kind of have the problem. Okay, well, what's Fuse? Um, why is this, how would this help us? So Fuse like a, is a kernel module, um, which allows you to make user space file systems. Um, so you can see an example here. So, so let's say that the orange applicate or the yellow application here is LibreOffice Writer, and green is what is now I'm going to call KAO Fuse. Then what happens is the application, if it's interacting with the KAO Fuse file system, um, it's going to go to the virtual, the, VF, the kernel VFS, and the kernel VFS decides which file system is going to deal with it. In this case, it's Fuse. And so the Fuse kernel module is going to figure out, well, wait a minute, which application is going to answer these requests? So the blue is the um, client, and the green is the server. And so KAO Fuse is the server, um, and it receives requests from the Fuse driver, which is talking on behalf of the application, and it simply got to um, reply to those requests. So what is KAO Fuse itself? So it is that green application we are talking about earlier. And basically, it allows KAO resources to be accessible to all applications. So basically, what happens is that simply KAO Fuse is a mapping between what Fuse requests are and KAO requests. So for example, an open request followed by some read requests and a close is equivalent to the snippet I showed you earlier of KAO get, for example. Um, and KOFU simply manages that mapping and tries to keep it as seamless as possible for you. And to communicate with a daemon, so to, to mount a resource, um, you can simply use a dbus request, as can be seen here. This is just, uh, you can use it on bash, for example, if you want, in your, term in your terminal. Um, KO also has some changes. to So for you to seamlessly use KOFU, um, KO also makes some changes, which I'll go into in a moment. So again, consider the three scenarios. Um, I'm going to assume that we have these prerequisites, which I'm going to skip over, but I basically already discussed them. Um, but here's the important three bullet points. So KEO has a patch which should determine if we should pass a KEO URL or a KEO Fuse URL. So if the application understands KEO, pass the URL as is. That's the ideal. If it does understand the protocol, but it doesn't contain a user. So if the URL doesn't contain a user, we're going to assume that it's not related to a user. So there is, there, is no, there is no chance for there to be a password that will block us. Well, if that's the case, then we'll just pass the URL as is. If there is a user, then there's probably a password. And so we're going to just pass the KEO Fuse URL, because KEO Fuse can talk to K password server, and so we don't have the password problem anymore. So I'm going to quickly go through here. The scenario just play out as like this. Use Dolphin selects an image to view with GwenView. Um, and you know it should work perfectly, because KEO knows that it understands the URL. So nothing's changed. Good. VLC, it doesn't understand KU, but we know that the the, the share is password protected, so we're still going to pass the KU Fuse URL. We've avoided the password problem. And with LibreOffice Writer, um, it doesn't understand anything, and so this is a perfect candidate for a KU Fuse URL. So why is this any better? Well, for a start, for, for many protocols, but not all, um, it's better for large files. We can do random access if we need to, so you can view a video nicely. Um, Again, we skip over the password problem as discussed. 
and it avoids the other pitfalls of key exec. So you don't have to ask for reconfirmation of uploading. We manage in the background um, when to re-upload the file. Um, there's also a cool feature where you can try it now, probably if you have KOFUs installed. Open Dolphin, open a terminal, go to an external resource, and the terminal will actually seamlessly go to the local mounted location. So that's quite cool. Um, there's still some things here. You can go to Azure Trackers, or you can think about them yourself. Um, but there's some things that we need to still improve. But now it's definitely a workable solution. Um, future in work. Um, so should we pull it to other platforms? Hopefully. But the main thing that we're interested in is XFS and test integration. This is a huge test suite that is used by most file systems. Um, and we believe it will allow better testing of KEFUs. And more and even better, allows testing of KEO um, slaves. So if you look at the uh, test directory for KEO extras, it's quite empty. And uh, hopefully with XFS test integration, this will be coming into light. Uh, so Boomer Tatari is working on that for Google Summer Code 2021. So please keep your eyes peeled. Um, I've gone a bit fast there, but I think I've just about fitted it in. So thank you all for listening. Uh, any questions, please come by the KD-FM channel. Uh, we'll be glad to answer or just email me. Thanks.